This is Twit. I have another joke. And oh, it's you called, have two. It's called Starliner. Oh, no. <laughs> so,、uh, you know, of course, there's been a lot of conversation here at the conference about Starliner and the delays. And we just had the, the BBC asking for your interviews last night about, hey, what's up with Starliner? And it's like, What do you say? You know? Well, Starliner、so、is not what up. What do you、right? say? Yeah. <laughs> What's up with Starliner is that Starliner is not up. In fact, just before we started recording this episode, NASA had another、uh, press release,、uh, uh, had a, actually a, a like, much asked for、uh, press conference where they finally kind of dished about what's going on. When you and I last、mm-hmm. spoke, we were lamenting the latest delay with Boeing Starliner, and it was slated to launch on May 21st. They then delayed it again to May 25th. They then delayed it again. Uh, to June 1st, no earlier than、uh, because of some challenges with this helium leak on the service module of the Starliner spacecraft itself. Well, we did get, hear from today、uh, the folks like Steve Stitch and, and over at uh, 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 Boeing 2 is that they, while they were researching this helium leak, they did find that there w a s potential concerns uh, for uh, the reaction control thrusters that. That the helium you know, uh, uh, leak is part of、uh, yeah. the pressure, yeah, pressurizes that whole thing, that it could lead to a loss of redundancy during the re entry portion of the mission, which is not good. So they're working on resolving that. They say that they do feel that they've got、uh, the margin that they need now, that they understand what the problem is now, but that it's been a very difficult um, uh, uh, problem. To,、um, to figure out because it came up while they were、uh, working on the replacement for the helium uh, 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 valve itself. Anyway, so a lot of, a lot of uh, 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 kind of back and forth, and there was a lot of animosity, maybe not animosity, but a lot of public calling out、uh, in the space media over the last week because of the, the sheer lack of information. We were just getting. One line st- like emails and, and updates saying, oh, it's delayed again, or because they need more time for this.、Uh, and there wasn't anything explaining exactly what the issue was with this, this helium uh, uh, leak that, they were, that they, were, they were seeing. So we finally well, got that today, and they apologized for the, the lack, but they said it was because they, they had their own challenges trying to understand what was going on, and they wanted to make sure they understood that before they had the press conferences or calls to explain okay. it. Okay. So, we have an engineer here today. And, Rob, <laughs> I don't want to put you in a corner about、uh, SpaceX versus Boeing or anything, but a more generic question what is it about valves that's so tricky that seems to really be bedeviling、um, this project?、Uh, and that's really not so much valves. It's just that in, in so many of these pieces of equipment, and particularly propulsion, propulsion systems, they have, they have a, they're, they're pretty darn sensitive sometimes, particularly. Um, they, they have very tight, you know, in order to keep the seals, you know, especially if things are doing like helium, where atoms can get the single atoms can sneak out so easily.、Yeah. Seals have to be very, very tight. And even the slightest bit of contaminant materials in the fuel or oxidizer, whatever uh, uh,、um, that you're flowing, can gum these things up and stop them. You know,、um, I'm a trumpet player and we have these valves, right? And, and, And it takes even the tiniest little hair in the valve to just jam it all up. And it takes a fair amount of work to get it clean. But it, so it's very difficult, so easy to get it wrong because of the precision required to get those seals and to open, to,、uh, open it up and close these valves、uh, elegantly、um, and reliably. And that's, that's one issue. We've challenged with challenges with that. And, and it's also a wide, wide variety of different k i n d of valves.、Um, the, ones, the ones in these missions tend to be reusable,、um, which means that they, they've got to handle a lot of cycles. And,、mm-hmm. and that makes it even more challenging. All right. Well, let's move on to a happier topic、uh, from、yeah. space.com. Also, we have Euclid Space Telescope returning images of cosmic. Yeah.、Light. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, so, Euclid is a European Space Agency telescope, but there's scientists at JPL who are also involved in the studies, too. And,、uh, and this is their big dark universe mission. It's designed to、uh, seek out、uh, the true mysteries of like dark energy and dark matter. And while it's re- re- you know, taken its first images、uh, in, in the past,、uh, what we got this week were just brand new. Uh, uh, science images that they were really looking forward to see.、Uh, they're, they're looking at, at universes,、uh, pardon me, galaxies that we've never really seen in such detail、uh, before. And、uh, 
uh, they, they've called it, uh, I'm going to quote, it's absolutely amazing. It's just so much more than I ever expected. Euclid will be a game changing, a game changer for uh, astronomy. That's how excited these astronomers are uh, about these images that they're getting from uh, from the, the space telescope itself. And they, they looked at um, uh, amazing views of images. In fact, we have a New York Times link that is really nice uh, for the folks on YouTube to, to really be able to see it uh, too on this one. But, um, but you know, this is a mission that launched in 2023, had its first light uh, uh, shortly thereafter, and now it's getting into the science and the meat and potatoes of its its mission. You know, they they this is um, they they call it their early release observation. So it's the first kind of big, beautiful images uh, packed with data and science that now all of the scientists, both on the mission team and the folks that have access to the uh, uh, to the archive can start looking into what it's telling us about uh, dark energy, about dark uh, dark matter, these unseeable, undetectable types of, uh, of objects in space or of matter in space that we can only infer by its gravitational inf uh, influence on the stuff around it. They think that like some 68% of the universe's energy and matter is comprised in these dark things. And um, or th that, that uh, dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe's, you know, matter budget. And dark matter is 27% and we get like what? You know about like four percent that we can see uh, uh, out there, and they really want to crack that nut with this mission. So these images are just—they're they're truly spectacular. And what it does suggest is that it's doing its job. Euclid is, is just like James Webb uh, is is working well, uh, is offering some tantalizing morsels of what's to come over the next uh, 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 years and hopefully decades of the space telescope, and maybe we'll finally understand. You know <laughs> all of this 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 unseeable hidden stuff uh, that uh, continues to elude us. Rob, do you understand all this dark hidden stuff that continues to elude us? Oh, of course, I have all the answers. Uh, yeah. well, that's why you're here. Me. <laughs> no, I, um, I, I find, you know, I find the, the, the excitement in astronomy right now is through the roof, and I, and I, and it's, and it's all justified. Um, we've learned so much uh, from, you know, you know, trying to, you know, figure out why the standard model doesn't do the job in terms of explaining mm -hmm. these, these, the dark sectors they're calling it. Um, and so, you know, and it's really just, these are just fascinating mess mysteries and nothing excites an astronomer or any scientist more than a big mystery. Mm -hmm. Um, and, 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 and this is so cool. I mean, we're, we're seeing, in fact, we may be even seeing signs that, you know, dark energy may not be something that's constant. It's maybe changing even more over time. We mm -hmm. thought it, it was in the nineties. We see that, that the excel that the universe is accelerating, um, as, as, as the, um, uh, as the, uh, uh, the, the, the kind of the, the force uh, forces of expansion, if they are forces, uh, are, or kind of out, out, out racing uh, the gravitational um, uh, counterforce. Yet now we're seeing potential with the DESI instrument on the on a Kitt Peak um, uh, a telescope is the, we're we're seeing potential signs that the that the the dark dark energy is is not constant and with time and so. This, I mean, that's just, if that's true and it's still tentative, it's blowing people's minds because <laughs> it may not be just a feature of um, space itself. It may be something else going on. And so that this, this is, this is an exciting time. Oh, oh my God, to, 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 to really understand our universe. And, and, and these mysteries are just lingering. Uh, and, you know, the fact that the all experiments to see if we can find dark, a, a, a sign of dark matter um, have have so far not not revealed very much. <laughs> there, you know, wimps seem to be wimping out. Um, anions uh, are, are uh, I, I mean, axions are 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 looking are looking le or maybe a possibility. H who knows? It's 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 the, the 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 cool thing is that they're actually whittling it down and eliminating. The question is, you know, um, what's left? Um, it may be. Uh, uh, it, it may be something we've never, never even possibly conceived of. So this is a oh, great time. What an exciting time. <laughs> hey, if you enjoyed this clip, be sure to check out This Week in Space. You can find us on your favorite podcast app or see the link in the description below. See you there. <laughs>